And now let's look at some other kinds of number patterns. And uh, we call this, let's say the first one, arithmetic sequence. Suppose we have a number pattern like this. The first one is 2, second one 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So we call these numbers, we give it a name first, called a term. Each of them is called a term, whole. So the first term is 2. So this is term number 1, and the number is 2. So this is what we call the second term. The second term is the number 4. This is the third term. Term number 3, we have the value 6. Fourth term, 8. Fifth term, 10. So, can you predict what is the number for the next term, for the sixth term? This one should be 12. What about 7? The next one, it should be 14. And you can name it. Let's say if we have 100 term, what should be the number for the 100th term? So if you can see the relationship between the term and the number, you can see that actually the number is just multiplying the term number by 2. So this will be 200. And if we have the nth term, the nth term, the number itself will be 2 times n. And remember, we have uh, come across this. We call this the general term of the sequence. General term. 